Since 1917, the International Association of Lions Clubs, a service organization, has been working in five core areas of eyesight, diabetes, childhood cancer, hunger relief, and environment. Likewise, Lions Clubs of Uganda, dubbed District 411B, have in the past been supplementing government's efforts in extending services to vulnerable communities. This Thursday, the team organized a health camp at St. Luke Church of Uganda in Intinda, rendering a cocktail of health services like diabetes awareness and risk assessment, blood screening, and eye screening. Uh, with diabetes, we are giving information and checking uh, the risk of individuals, those who come here, we check uh, whether they are at risk of getting diabetes or not, and if they are at risk, we support them. We are checking blood sugar to know the status of an individual, and if there is a risk, we also advise them. Dr. Dan Sinshekanabo, the immediate past district governor, recounts the successful projects that they accomplished with more expected ahead of the celebrations to mark the end of the Lionistic year. We are celebrating Lionism in Uganda, and we have a good reason to celebrate because we've been through a tough year of the pandemic. During this year, many people, of course, went into lockdown. Many people had challenges. But as lions, our work is to serve. We've been serving our communities. Even when we had lockdown, we went out of the way to look uh, for people who were having issues, those who had, uh, uh, who had nothing to eat. We went to people and gave them food. We contributed to the efforts of government. To, to fight against the pandemic. Actually, we put in close to $20,000 as Lions of Uganda and Lions Clubs International Foundation. Stoma Christopher, a laboratory technician, is one of the health workers who pitch camped at Intinda to offer services. He advised Ugandans to always embrace such opportunities to avoid being caught off guard. Sometimes uh, people always want to come to the hospital when they are down and uh, a human body is just like a car or any machine. We need to always keep servicing it. Dr. Geoffrey Erem of St. Francis Hospital in Zambia handled eye care services. Dr. Erem contends that many Ugandans are ignorantly suffering from eye-related problems yet remain hesitant to seek medical attention since services in this sector are some of the most expensive to come by. He, however, says this will soon be solved since Uganda already secured funds worth 600,000 U.S. dollars to construct a comprehensive eye care facility at Nsambia Hospital. So part of this money we'll use for constructions and then the other, um, the, the other part of the funding we will use it for screening for medical camps like what we are having right now. And in the future also we are going to have a surgical eye camps where we come, we diagnose you and then we treat you, we operate you, and then follow you up from Zambia hospitals. Taking stock of the numerous benefits that accrue from such engagements, Cedres Rechichiga makes a clarion call to members of the public to seek membership with the Lions Club Uganda. Come and join us, because the more hands we have, the more we can serve our people. We still need more hands. Uh, when our founder in 1917, when he got this dream, he, I don't think he knew that it would spread all over the world, but at least now it is all over the world. Having been granted a full district status, separating it from Tanzania, the Lions Clubs of Uganda are scheduled to host a district conversion come Saturday 15th May 2021. Doka Skimono. UBC News.